Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 7. Now, when it comes to divisibility, remember, we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder. So the given numbers work out exactly. So in this case, we're going to take a look at four numbers here and see if they are divisible by 7. We can divide by 7 without getting a remainder. Now this is going to be based on the rule at the top of the screen. We're going to double the last digit and subtract it from the remaining number. If that gives us a number that's divisible by 7, then the original number is divisible by 7. So let's take a look and see what that means and jump into number 1 where we have 574. So let's double the last digit, which is 4. So 4 times 2, doubling it, gives us 8. We need to subtract 8 from the remaining number. So the remaining number is this 57 here. So let's do 57 minus 8. That gives us 49. So we take a look at that remaining number there, 49, and see if it is divisible by 7. If so, the original number is divisible by 7. So can we do 49 divided by 7 and get an answer without a remainder? Yes, 49 divided by 7 is 7. So 49 is divisible by 7. Therefore, our original number, 574, is divisible by 7. Let's take a look at number 2, where we have 147. The last digit is 7. Let's double it. So 7 times 2 equals 14. Our remaining number is 14 here. So 14 minus 14 gives us 0. Remember, 0 is divisible by any number. Therefore, 0 is divisible by 7. That means our original number, 147, is divisible by 7. On to number 3, we have 3,976. Our last digit here is a 6. So let's double it. 6 times 2 gives us 12. Our remaining number is 397. So we need to do 397 minus 12. So 7 minus 2 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8, bring down our 3. 3 minus 0 is 3. 385 is still kind of a large number there in value, a three-digit number, so we're going to repeat our steps, actually. So what we're going to do, let's take a look at our last digit, 5, and double it. So we know 5 times 2 equals 10. So we can do 38 minus that 10 and that gives us a remaining number of 28. That's much easier to work with than 385. Again, we just repeated the steps to give us a more manageable number to work with. So is 28 divisible by 7? Can we do 28 divided by 7 and get an answer without a remainder? Yes, 28 divided by 7 is 4. Therefore, our original number of 3,976 is divisible by 7 as well. So let's move on to number 4 here, where we have 9,822. Our last digit here is a 2, so let's double it. 2 times 2 equals 4. And now we need to subtract it from the remaining number, which is 982. So 982 minus 4. That's going to give us 978. Still a three-digit number and fairly large in value to work with here, so we are going to repeat our steps. Let's take a look at the last digit, which is 8, and double it. So 8 times 2 gives us 16. So we need to do 9. So 97 minus 16 is going to give us a 1 in the 1's place. I'm going to write it over here so it's a little bit bigger. A 1 and then an 8 here. So we get 81. Now 81 is not divisible by 7. Therefore, our original number, 9822, is not divisible by 7 either. So there you have it. There's the divisibility rule for 7. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.